Oh, the first. I want to sleep with that. <laughs> I mean, it's early, it's us. We gotta have a book it up. Whose room is this? Now that we're sitting in here, let's just get good. Oh, is this your room, Elliot? Uh, well, yeah, but. Yeah, it's. Man, it's a huge mess in there, so I'd really rather you didn't just see it. <laughs> no one gets that flustered over just a mess. Suspicious. Well, I can't believe that Elliot, of all people, would have indecent material lying about. Oh, of course not! I'd just rather you didn't go inside, that's all. <laughs> Alright, if you insist. Now I really want to go in there. <laughs> Alright, fine. It's funny, Elliot will let me sneak in the assistant room without any worry. Is this the assistant room or is that one that I can't walk in? He says, wait, no, there's a piano in here. Yeah, it's weird. I can walk straight in the assistant room and he doesn't play. Walk into his one, however, and do. Trying it. Zoom in. And it didn't work. Certification of... Stop the... Really pixelated. Anyway. Unless this... There's a bed and this... Flowers every fucking word it doesn't matter, so it's clearly a woman's room. Uh, that was sexist as all hell. Didn't mean that like that, that really not what I meant. Anyway, uh, yeah, but there's musical stuff there and a the piano, so I can safe to say it's a sexist room. But why would Elliot let me walk straight in? <laughs> anyway, I suppose it's rude manners just to poke around in other people's homes. So, uh, thanks. See ya. I have to say that to the lassie. Anyway, hey, I still can't believe that Elliot's come back home so quickly. Oh, hey, Jules, thank you for answering my prayers. I think you might be overreacting a little. <laughs> Either way, I'm so pleased to have you all here. I'll be sure to make something extra delicious for tonight's dinner, so make sure you're all back in time. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Stuck on the counter? Now. Uh, he said it was the bracer. Yeah, that's not very good. Uh, if I was a bracer guild, where would I be? Up uh, yeah. No. Uh, I don't see the bracer logo anywhere. It goes on the opposite side of the street from my house. Let's make our way there then. Oh, right. If this house is on that side, then the guild's over this way. I want back it. <laughs> see, I was looking for the logo, and there isn't one, so. In here. Yeah, this is definitely the place written on the memo. I don't think we'd be staying in an old gym. Oh, kill branch. I'm guessing Group B was fixed up in the other one then. There's more than one guild branch in the city? Yeah, back in the guild still had the presence in time doll, there were two branches. The guild pulled out of the city over a year ago though, so not many pay attention to these buildings anymore. Is that so? The guild still is an active branch in my hometown, the Grand. Really? Well, the extension in the rule these days. The building looks surprisingly new, considering they've been gone for over a year. Oh, uh, that. That's because there was a big fire that swept through here about two years ago. Maybe you built the buildings after that, but they all ended up being shuttered when the guild left town anyway. No one knows for sure whether the fire was an accident or not. Some people still think it was set by terrorists. That's an unsettling thought. It's just a rumor, though. There's no proof or anything. Must have been that old for you. No, uh, nothing. Anyway, let's head in, shall we? My father gave us the key, so we should be able to let ourselves in. Up, oh, shall we open it up? Yeah, sure. You know, I was actually expecting it to be less tidy inside. There's some kind of notice posted up on one of the walls and bulletin boards. It seems to be a notice of who's currently in charge of the building. Apparently it's currently owned by the local government. Well, that explains why the governor had the authority to let us stay here while we're in town. Which part are we staying in then? There's nothing but a reception counter down here, so I suppose we'll be staying upstairs. Let's go drop off our staff and see what we've got in store for today.
prepared brand new beds for us and everything. Isn't that going a little far? This isn't a hotel. I'm not gonna complain. Your dad seems like a really nice guy. We should appreciate his consideration. Alright, now we've got our lodging sorted out. Time to take a look at today's tasks. We'll study day one. Assign tasks. What is the unread one? Amber and more. Old man Hemming. One of my cafe's most popular records has been shattered. If possible, I'd like to get another record of the same sort, but I need help. Visit me at the Costa Cafe at Toll on Alto Street for further information. Oh, that's just in the roof from here. Chronicles of the Chronicle. A journalist at the Imperial Chronicle needs assistance with the tourism piece he's preparing. For more information, speak to me at the reception in our office on Vanicure Street, and I will, get a, I will connect you two. Uh, hats off. A customer visited my gelato store yesterday. I suddenly dropped their hat. I'd like to get it back to them, but I'm not sure how. If you have any good ideas, please visit my stall in Dry Kills Plaza. And last but not least, now this is why we bothered getting all the quartz and crap ready at last time. It's for a monster hunting quest, like so. My name is Noble. I run the Durhamel Hotel, which unfortunately currently has a monster lurking beneath it. Tell me about it. If you can get rid of it, please see me at my hotel in Garnier District. A Noble. Task Machia's father selected could certainly show the variety one would expect from a city this size. Yeah, we'll need to make sure we know exactly what each stack involves before taking it on. Our group's covering the area east of Vanicare Street. So it might be a good idea to go around to scope out all these places before noon? Agreed. I want to get an idea where everything is. We can use the Orbital Trams to visit all the relevant locations on this side of the city while we're going through the task. You two alright with being our travel guides? Of course. Might as well put our knowledge to use. It may be hard to show you around the city this size, but I'll give you a gr as grand a tour as I can. Said says will fix dinner for us, so let's head back there when it starts getting light. Yeah, once we're done with everything, let's go to Elliot's house. Okay, then let's get moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover. I just did. Let's do all we can to ensure we're not shown up by Group B. While in Heimdall, you can travel between the areas of the city relevant to the group's field study. To travel, either walk to the end of an area map, or press the square button and select one of the destinations listed. Each area also has a tram stop, which you can visit to travel by tram to other areas. At certain points in the chapter, you will need to ride the tram to reach your destination. Anyway, I've got to have a poke around with me. You know, there's surprisingly little in here. I'm guessing when the bracers are shot, or... They... The wrong one. I'm guessing when the bracers shut, they cleared up shop before they just... Like, they didn't just leave the building to go to the and fuck it up. They cleaned up before they left. Either that, or Machias' father did a hell of a job getting everyone organised to tidy this place up. Which does sound like something he'd do, if I'm honest. Anyway, one of our tasks was right down the road in here. So we're we doing that part. I can mark out who I'm meant to talk to. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come down. Hiya. Welcome back, Elliot. Then you walk in, it's like nothing's changed. Glad to see you're doing well, Hemming. So you know, friend of yours. Yep. Let me introduce you. Hemming used to be a famous musician, but he settled down and now owns this place. Fiona and I have known us since we were kids, and we own a lot. This place is pretty popular too, so if you're involved with music in Heimdall, you probably know it all. Fascinating. I wasn't even aware that this place existed. It was kind of relaxing. <laughs> Thank you. Now that the introductions are out of the way, you sent in a request for us to take care of, didn't you? I did, in fact. Can you start right away? Should we? Should we? Yeah, sure. Sure. Might tell us what you need. The request mentioned the, that one of your favourite records was smashed. That's right. It happened while I was trying to change around the store's layout. I ended up knocking out over one of the scales by accident, which in turn led to the record falling out and shattering. Terrible luck. Which record was it? Tragically enough, it was Amber and Moore. Oh no, you play that one every night! And if it came out over 30 years ago, it has become a rather hard to find. Yes. I know your music. I wonder if I could show be proud. <laughs> maybe. I've got plenty of other records to play while I look for a replacement, so it's not an insurmountable problem. 
I'm more worried about the fact that I have an old friend stopping by this evening. He really loves that sock. That's why I'd like to ask you if you could find me a replacement before the end of the day. Makes sense. I assume you've searched all the nearby record stores already? I did, but none of them had it in stock. This is a big city though, I haven't given up on it just yet. Which is why I said to the quest the other way. Then we have our work cut out for us. Does anyone know of any stores that might sell records? Hmm, you might want to ask Fiona about that. Oh yeah, I suppose the piano instructor would know where to buy records. Probably knows every store. My thoughts exactly, she's probably our best bet. Then we know where to start, hopefully she'll be able to help us. <laughs> Look at you kids, already formulating a plan. Here Elliot, this should help cover the cost of the record if you manage to find it. Thanks. Okay, we're off to find the record. I'm sure you will. Well, guess it's best to head off and ask you one of them. It is nearby too, so why not? Especially, they do have a very good point that if you think about it, these cars stick on like a sore thumb. What's going on, you Oh, it certainly is impressive to see railroads within a city. They were really comfortable, and the view out of the window was wonderful. Or both trams, I think they're called. We do stick out in this town, don't it? My my, this place looks so nice. This looks, like a, this looks like a residential area too. I wouldn't mind living here myself. You see what I mean? Look at the stark contrast between them and me. Anyway, so can we tell the tourists? Now, uh, we need to have a word with Fiona. I really need to work out where the fucking door is. <laughs> Keep walking into shit. I'm like, I'll just go this way. That's a wall. I'll go that way. That's another wall. Anyway. Hey, Fiona. Oh, hello everyone. Is there something I can help you with? We hope so. Elliot explained that Hemming asked him to search for a copy of Amber and More. Oh no, poor Hemming. That might be a hard record to find though. As far as I can remember, most stores here don't stock it anymore. That's what we were afraid of. But that's why we came to you. We thought you might know some other way we can get our hands on. Hmm. This is something of a long shot, but how about asking over at the Plaza Bifrost on Banningcare Street? That's a suggestion I was expecting. Same here. I don't remember there being any music stores in there. Did they, have an Did they add one while I was gone? Not within the building itself, no. However, Plaza Bifrost, 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 however the fuck you pronounce it, actually has a number of partner stores all throughout the city, some of which sell records. If you ask there, they'll be able to check if any of them have a copy in stock. That's quite the trick. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, you learn these kinds of things as you grow up. Aren't you lucky to have such a reliable sister, Elliot? And humble too, but I can deny that you really helped us out. Thanks a lot, we'll head straight for Plaza Bifrost now. <laughs> Just remember to be careful. She's really crazy about her brother, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, I'm kinda jealous. Anyway... <laughs> I've got nothing to say in regard to that. Anyway, all I can truly say is, Hey, you told us what we needed to know. And that's more than enough for me, and they were saying something about using the tramp. Uh, there we go. Cool. Alright, we need to get to, uh, Plaza... Wait. Uh... Dracula Plaza? Something Plaza. <laughs> it's like Beef Raw or something or other. Definitely something Plaza. <laughs> It'd be wrong not to use the trap at least once while we're in the city. So we're doing it this time, and then when I inevitably find out we've gone to the wrong place, we will just hop there with the magic of the square button. <laughs> but yeah. Meanwhile, a jumpy tram ride later. As it kept warping in front. This is Strikeo's Plaza. The large building you can see in the distance is Balfour Palace, home of the Imperial Lock family and the government. The new statue of the Emperor Drakeo is the Lionheart in the center of the plaza as well. <laughs> this is the one place in the capital that never gets any less stunning, no matter how many times I see it. Well, we've come on this way out here, we might as well take, go take a closer look. Yep. 
kind of went the wrong way, didn't we? Yep. So, bug it. We're going to have a look at the statue while we're here until I work out where I'm meant to go. Here's the statue of Emperor Dreykels. He strikes quite a stately pose. Weird to think he's the one who founded our academy. Why not? Dreykels resort. It's really weird to say that this big bearded guy with his massive sword and flowing cape founded a military school. It doesn't really make sense, does it? Anyway, uh, we were meant to be going somewhere. Walk through a field study test. Not let me magically warp while I'm here. So either I have to do this. We might as well get a good look at Buffalo Pilot. Yeah, that might <laughs> Green, we're here by accident. We're meant to be going somewhere else. <laughs> ah, whatever. This is Vaflin Palace. This is where the Imperial government is headquartered too, right? Yep. It's a pretty imposing building though. Looking up at it, one can really appreciate the grand scale of this nation. True. Oh, you're all here too? Wait, what are you guys doing here? It's not like coincidence, it's not like we were planning to run into you here. Isn't your group supposed to be focusing on the western half of the city? Hmm. I seem to recall your group being assigned to come to the east side, and yet, here you are! Ah, this must be where our areas overlap. Have you been going around exploring other places on your list too, then? Yes, we only arrived here by tram a little while ago. <laughs> How's everything coming along, Pete? Not bad. Well, in the city this big, it's quite a coincidence that we run into each other just, uh, just run into each other like this. True, that space keeps trying to bring us together. I think they put you all up in an old girl house too then. Yeah, I have to say I didn't see that one going. Yeah, your dad seems like he's seems like he's the meddling type, I guess. Uh, I wish I could disagree. <laughs> I'm sure he has his reasons. I've explored about half of our assigned areas so far. How about you? We just started making the rounds unfortunately. I see. Good luck then. This city is vast, but I'm sure you'll manage. Thanks. Oh hey, why don't we all get lunch together later? <laughs> that sounds wonderful. There's no guarantee that we'll be able to get together again during our visit after all. True, but it'd be the perfect chance to exchange information as well. I have no objection. Alright, well. Alright. Well, just give us a call on the Arcus when you're ready to take a break for lunch and we'll do the zip. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. Not exploring then, I guess. Yeah, let's move on to the next area. Later, everyone. Later. Alright, let's get back to exploring then. Right. Let's see if we can finish scouting out our assigned areas before noon. Yeah, sure. That boy block that. Right, anyway, we need to go to... Check the note. That's the wrong note. Check the quest tab. Four. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, not that one, no, no. that one. Do, 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 do. Why's a bifrost on Vanic here? There we go. Yeah, there was the first one on the list. <laughs> Oops. It was one of the options. <laughs> okay, my bad. But anyway. Vanicure Street. Sure is busy. <laughs> of course, it's the biggest street in Hamilton. There's more to it than just Plaza Bifrost too, which means you'll see lots of different types of people. Different types of people and different types of orbit vehicles it seems. Well, that's partly due to the Imperial Transportation ads that came to effect last year. 
Don't run into the road, Machias. You're the last person I need to treat me like a child. <laughs> anyway, it's looks like we'll be coming here a lot during our visit. We'd better take the chance of familiar side eh uh, English. The language that I should be able to fuck it back. <laughs> anyway, we'd better take the chance to familiarize ourselves with the shops here. That's right. English is one of the well, one of the languages that I speak, and yet I still fuck it up. Explain that logic. <laughs> Anyway, this is Plaza Bicross. It's a big boss, whatever the hell you pronounce it. What is here? Am I doing a gold food? Oh yeah, we're coming out of the recipe to everyone who starts by doing some press. It's a recipe to make delicious green. Don't believe me? Try it yourself. What the hell's grand? Is there jelly? I don't know. What if I that I have like, I mean, I have five liquor. <laughs> if I remember right, Food actually gives you stats if you use it properly, which I never did. Never. So... <laughs> but it does genuinely give you stats, it gives you buffs. Uh, general goods, do yourself. Welcome. We have a variety of sort, men of luxury groups, name brands, as well as a fine selection of imports. <laughs> Take your time and indulge your interest. I'm confident you'll find something that catches your eye. Sure. Do it yourself. Eating, small ring, glasses, basic accessories that buff them. That's it. No worries. Uh, the drugstore is different healing items, can guarantee that one. There's a cafe here. And the balls of the weapon shop. Tell I go for the key thing, don't I? Weapon thing. <laughs> Actually, one thing I should do. Hello, look at our turn up. You'll find no better collection of knowledge anywhere in Erebon. Please feel free to lose our wares. So you can find something that will reach your life. Anyway, what I was thinking of was I sh should really buy more coffee to tea. Because if I remember right, and I never remember right ever, I have absolute fuck all money. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> we are broke! <laughs> anyway, um, is if you own, I think it is, every copy of the Imperial Chronicles, because you put one out every chapter, if you own them all by the end, you get a trophy. Anyway, welcome to Plaza Bifrost. Is there anything I can help you with? We were looking for a specific item and heard that this was the place to ask. That's right. What can I help you find today? We were trying to find a record that came out roughly 30 years ago. It's called Amber Amour. Amore, how the fuck you pronounce that one too? Is there any chance that someone here would have it in stock? Amber Amour. Uh, let me get in touch if I have affiliate stores. Please bear with me as I do. Thank you for waiting. Did you manage to find it? Eh, I'm afraid not. I contacted all five stores, but none of them had a copy, I'm afraid. That's less than ideal. Can you ask anyone else? Unfortunately not. I'm afraid you might have to inquire elsewhere. However, before we resort to that, it is possible for us to contact the record maker and ask them to send us a copy. Would that be of interest to you? How long would it take to arrive? It depends on the company, but anywhere from a week to a month, I'd say. Ah, unfortunately we would ask to find a copy by tonight. While I appreciate the offer, there's not much point in getting a week from now. So you need it right away. Then I might suggest that you visit the Ost District. There's a very reliable second-hand store that might have it. Alright, oh, I didn't think of that. I didn't realize there were second-hand stores in Heimdall. Don't you live in, what, in the Ost District, Machias? Not only do I live there, I know the woman who runs the store. The store's named M. Rods, and I'm fairly certain they sell old records. But what are we waiting for then? Let's go! Fine by me. We really appreciate all the help you've given us. <laughs> My pleasure. I do hope you find what you're looking for. You well, know, I kind of wish there was more receptions like that in reality. They're all a bit stuck up if you ask me. Maybe it depends on the person. I don't know. Anyway, so to the off district, they want us to go. I'm not gonna line it up, I can't work it out. Uh Yeah, you go to the Austin Street. <laughs> Only doing that because that square is like, do you want to go to the Imperial Chronicle? No. The Bifrost thing my bar? No. That other thing? Yet again. No. Uh, I'm just gonna use the trap. <laughs> Less confusing.
just noticed there's no tram actual stop here. The candy just comes to the end of the line. Anyway. Compared with Machia's left to where Elliot does, I think Elliot is the one who's actually better off. Weird to think of that, considering how Machia's his father runs the place. This is the Oz district, where I was born and raised. You'll find mostly lower class citizens and laborers living around here. Huh. A lot of old looking buildings in this area, but it doesn't look especially run down. It wasn't included in the city's redevelopment plan, but they take good care of it nowadays. Once my father and Chancellor Osborne came into power at least. The two of them managed to improve the employment numbers around here, and in turn, the standard of living. That's why they're so popular here in Heimdall. Razzle Osborne in particular is famous for holding his ground against even the most influential nobles. Interesting. So does that mean we're near your house, my kiss? Yeah, relatively. Well, there isn't much to see here, everyone gets along pretty well, and there's al they're always there for each other. On that note, there are a number of people here who I'd like to see before we leave, but I can do it later. Bye bye me, let's go. Likewise, if you find the record first, we can pop in and say hi to everyone. Uh, okay, but the real question is, where would a second hand shop be in the game? Hmm, looks like we've hit a dead end. This area seems easy to get lost in. In the capital. <laughs> uh, I doubt Mackie has no end of like 12. It's a house. Uh, you know what, we should work out where this shop is first. It's a pub. It's a rum group, but it's not the right place. Somehow cats appeared on my map as things I could talk to. Um, maybe it's easy to get lost in here. Wait, you're actually called Johnny. Yes, it's called Johnny! <laughs> right, where am I heading now? Here, the amount of deliveries I gotta make always jumps up whenever the summer festival starts closing in. No problem though, I grew up here and I was placed in the back of my hand. Found someone does, that's what we do. Uh, I found Mackie as his house. I'm just gonna walk in, right? Well, here it is, this is my home. Huh? You may be able to guess that the governor Heimdall lived here. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> no harm done. Why did we go inside? Well, is there really any reason to present it right now, anyway, since my father lives in his official residence most of the time? Right. Let's get out of here then. Well, what the shot? Screw it. Hi! Do you pair know where the balls are meant to be going? Machias, what are you doing back here? Yo, Machias. I didn't think you'd show your ugly mug around here so quickly. Yeah, some people never grow up. I hope that you quit the delinquent act and actually try studying for once. Shut it! You, you ain't got the right to tell us what to do! Damn straight! Right. Petri is number one in the Arch District, so don't even try to mess with it. Come on, Petri, show them how scary we are. Right. Listen up, jackass! You sure you don't need thicker glasses? Just like you're getting blinded by the day. <laughs> Eat that, dark rod! You sure know some, uh, interesting people? I wish I didn't. Okay, that's not it. Where the fuck is this thing? God damn it! I went right past it! Look, we went this way, we went in the middle, and we went this way. We literally walked past it. If I'd gone right instead of left, I'd look, if you go down here, and move left, that's it there. God damn it! <laughs> this is my area, at least. Okay. Ah, screw it. Hi. Welcome. Oh, hey, Marcus. Huh? What are you doing here? Well, I'm your grandmother. I know, not to see her here. She called it quits, basically. So now the store's all mine. Really? <laughs> no need to freak out. I'm handling things pretty well. Anyway, be sure to drop by if you're ever in the neighborhood. I don't have too many years on me, but I know what I'm doing. Right. Anyway, there's something I'd like to ask. We're searching for a specific record. Do you know if you have Amber or Moors in stock here by any chance? Let me have a look, okay? Sorry for the wait, is this the one? Thank you very much. So is that the one? Yep, it's the real deal. It's in really good condition considering what that is second hand too. Maybe we'll be ecstatic when he sees this. How much is it? 
It's 10 whole percent off the original price. Only 10 percent? That's still pretty expensive. Hey, I'm trying to run a business here. It's a fair price given how well the records managed to hold its value. I figured it'd be more than the regular price since it's so rare. See, she gets it. It'd be way more than retail price if it was out of print too. On 10%, take it or leave it. We'll take it. We should cover it. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Well, we found what we needed. Yeah, let's bring this back to Hammy.